Hi guys, good day. Today we'll be talking on a topic called Computer Professionals. I may remain your instructor, Ikoni Hilary. So in this topic, we'll have some objectives and we're talking about defining what a computer professional is, examples of computer professionals, qualities of a good computer professional, some ethical guidelines for a good computer professional, summary and a little assignment. Now, definition. A computer professional are individuals who have obtained sufficient education and training in the field of computer science, ICT, and subsequently earn their livelihood from their chosen profession. These are people that actually work in ICT firms, um, data firms, any firm that deals with ICT, um, ICT environment like MTN, School Media, Airtel, and some other ICT-based firms. They are called computer professionals. Another definition states that computer professionals are those who operate in the ICT and knowledge economy industry. They may design, build, write, or sell computer-related commodities. A computer professional is a person who works in the field of information and communication technology, ICT. Now, examples. Computer engineer. These are the desktop engineers, software engineers, hardware engineers, and network engineers. Example, your phone or laptop repair person. You have a laptop that is bad or a phone that is bad. You take it to a repair person. He opens it, fixes the problem, and gives it back to you. That is a hardware engineer. Or you're having problem with your phone. The phone keeps rebooting. And they tell you that you need to update the software. Or you format it. You take it to a repair person. You change it and the phone becomes good as new. So that's the hardware and the software engineer. A computer operator. It covers the widest range of computer professionals because almost every computer user is an operator. An employed computer operator does such job as desktop publishing and data entry. Yes, you you in your own house, you own a phone, you own a laptop, you know how to use a, lab, a computer. You know how to use software and it. You're already a computer operator. But when you now start earning money from using those skills, that's when you become a computer professional. Computer graphic artist. He or she does the uh, complex artwork such as drawing, painting, and animations with the use of computer. Example, he uses CorelDRAW, Adobe Illustrator, Blender software to do his or her artwork. And that is also an example of a computer professional. Computer service providers. These are the people that provide access to the internet. They are called ISPs, Internet Service Providers or Access Provider. They also provide other computer related services, example, MTN, Airtel. It allows you to make data calls and normal calls. Extra examples, you have your webmaster, he or she writes updates and manages websites. He checks to ensure that sites are fo and, fo and forms are accessed. Viruses are kept away as much as possible and intruders are prevented from hacking in. Computer game masters, he or she earns his living by playing computer games. Yeah, Yes, there are people that earn their living by playing computer games. He or she masters and trains people on how to play computer games. He or she is sometimes called computer game grandmaster. Ethical hacker. He or she is an IT professional that engages in legal breaking into computers to test organizational defenses. Companies engage ethical hackers or identify vulnerability, vulnerabilities that's weakness in your system. Those are the hackers that we talk about and people earn a living for being an ethical hacker. So, application service provider. This is a business organization that provides computer-based services to customers over a network. An example is software offered using an ESP mode. Example, school media using their YouTube channel to educate kids is an application service provider. System auditor. He or she uses the system to audit accounts, both financial accounts and otherwise. Example, your accountants, bankers using Microsoft Excel. Then the last example we'll talk about on this is the computer instructor. 
This is a teacher that trains all others on the science study and application of computers. Example, your ICT teachers, school media, tech officers in all your individual schools. So the next one is qualities of a good computer professional. He or she must be diligent and pay attention to detail. Yep. You have to be very diligent and pay attention to detail so that any information that goes by, you make sure that it is accurate. He or she must be honest and trustworthy. He or she must be committed to work and self-development. He or she must, from time to time, update his or her knowledge in the chosen field. Nobody is an island of knowledge, so you need to update yourself. Just like you update your softwares on your system, on your phone, if there's any updates, you need to update and make sure you are up to the latest trends in the world. He or she must have a resting and relaxation time. Yeah, all cannot play make Jack a dull boy. So you need to rest from time to time so that you'll be fresh when you need to work. He or she must have math knowledge. Not everybody likes math, but math is important for you to be a good computer professional. He or she must have communication skills. Your communication skills must be on point. You must be able to articul be articulate, talk to people, explain what you know as a computer professional so that whenever you're discussing with your peers, you can easily explain any idea you have in mind. He or she must have problem-solving abilities. There might be an issue with your phone, with your laptop. You might be able to be able to solve that problem without consulting somebody. Even maybe at home, daddy has an issue with the software. You can help him update his uh, uh, WhatsApp. He might say, okay, the WhatsApp has stopped working. You just help him go to Google Play Store and update it for him. So the next one, next topic is ethical guidelines for computer professionals. So as a computer professional, you have guidelines that you must abide by to help you move on. You have to respect confidentiality. You have to be honest and fair. You have to maintain professional competence. You have to be able to protect personal privacy. You have to understand relevant law. Avoid harming others, respect property rights, and understand what success means. Those are ethical guidelines computer professionals abide by. So, in summary of what we have all learned in this lesson, we looked at what defining computer professionals we defined we uh, made two computer professional definitions we give different examples of computer professionals your hacker your hardware engineer your web designer your graphics designer etc and we saw the qualities of a good computer professional there are other qualities you can add that will be part of the assignment you will do at the ending and the last thing we did was we looked at ethical guidelines for computer professionals, which is very important when dealing with this topic. So this is a little assignment, research on examples of computer professionals and make a list of people you know holding such positions. It could be your mom, it could be your dad, it could be your auntie, it could be your uncle or friends. So see we meet next time. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.